Oh, straight in my face. We're back. Still haven't put it all back together yet because I'm doing another, another issue in the bongo. Um, it's a coolant leak. So down here, which you can't see, well, I'll show you in a sec, uh, there's a T piece, like a T junction thing, where the coolant goes along here and then up into the rear uh, heat matrix. So you've got heating in the front, heating in the back. Where the T is, it's all corroded and where the hose goes onto the T, it's leaking. So, I'm going to repair it today. So the first thing I'm going to do is drop all the, I say coolant, this water, it's all just tap water because I keep having to top it up. Um, and I would have spent about three times as much as the van's worth on coolant so far, just by topping it up. So, it's only tap water, I'm just going to drop it on the floor, um, annoy the neighbours, but I need to get rid of it. So, I'm going to do that now, let it drain for an hour um, at the lowest, I'm going to do it at the lowest point so it all sort of flushes out, repair it and then fill it back up, bleed it, kind of, I've got the, the bleed kit in there so it kind of bleeds itself um, and then yeah that'd be it, that's the bleed kit there look, um, yeah so let's have a go. Right I know I don't if I can see that very well but I think the focus is broken on my camera Anyway, there's a bit of a puddle, it's been dripping away, look. And let me just focus, there you go, there was a drip then. Look at the state of that. So that all needs to be sorted out, basically. So I think it's actually fractured here at the join. So the pipe sort of welded together there. And I just don't think it's a very good connection here and here either, to be fair. So what I'm going to do is cut this out, bosh along there, and then pull these hoses off. Well, I'll do that first to drain the corner out. But um, and then I'm going to. I've got like a T piece. It is a plastic one. It's supposed to be a high temperature plastic one. I'm not 100% convinced, but I haven't got a brass one that's handy. So I'm going to fit the plastic one first. See, keep an eye on it. See how it gets on. And then I might replace it with a brass one. I don't know yet. I'll probably just leave it to be honest. But. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to drain the coolant from here now. Anyway, actually, I might do it down here. It's a bit lower. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to try and do this without getting too wet and the camera wet and the light wet and everything wet. Will it work? No idea. Here we go. There you go, just literally tap water. I'm gonna pop this open. Just let that radiator drain a bit easier as well. So I've got that um, header tank open, that open as well, just to let any air into the system, which is normally what you don't want, but in this case, it's just gonna drain it a little bit quicker. And then that's all just gonna flow out of there. So I'm just gonna adjust that pipe. I'm just going to leave that to settle now, hopefully that will dry out a bit so I can get under there. Um, I'm going to leave those off as well, just to let any dribs come out. Tripod's gone wing wang. 
Right, so I'm just going to leave that to drain for a minute. Then the patch underneath should cool out a bit, cool out, dry out a bit as well, so I can get under there and work. So yeah, I'll be back in about 20 minutes, half hour. Here's the plastic bit. It's hopefully going to sit there. Looks roughly the right size. So I'm going to try and get these clips off. I don't think these have been off before. Actually, no, they might have been. Actually, I can't remember when I did all the coolant flush before. It's probably why it's buggered now. Because it's been disturbed. Right, let's try and get this. That one's coming off nice and easy. And then this one. Probably be a pig to get off. <coughs> yep. <sighs> it's on there. Oh, hang on, I'm cable tied up here for some reason. Let's get that off. <coughs> there you go. State of that. Dimmered. Oh, straight in my face. So, will it fit? Is the question. Oh, that's not far off at all. Look at that. It's almost like I measured it. Obviously, it needs to go in a bit more than that. There's gonna be a lot of panting in this video. Because I'm at a funny old angle. Right, that's there. So now I need to cut. I just realised I need a bit more hose actually. Oh poo. I need a bit of hose to couple that to that. Where can I get some hose? I wonder if this is long enough that I could cut a bit off. Anyway, I'll tackle that in a minute. So I'm gonna cut with a hacksaw this bit of pipe. world's biggest hacksaw Now, I need to try and get this off this bracket. So I'm trying. Oh, it's just a little. Uh, you can see that a lot easier, mate. Just a little bolt there, and drop that off, and that should come out of the way then. Then I need to couple that to that. Put that hose on there. Clips on. Done. Definitely in pretty bad shape, but as a whole, there it's just all corroded on the ends. Same with this side, just, yeah, not good. Um, inside metal's not too bad, like you can see where I've cut it, but it all looks a bit red and horrible inside as well, though. But anyway, hopefully, this new repair should hold up. I think what I'm gonna do get a little bit of that pipe there cut because oh, I've got too much on that side really oh this is so annoying it's dripping in my face so that's going to sit there and then that's going to go on there so can I lose a little bit should be alright we're going to get a knife let's open these right up so about there should be enough. I'm gonna get one go, which is reassuring. I want to get a pipe. There's my bit of pipe. Shut that over there. Like so. 
do. And then that needs to go the other tube a little bit, which is there. Right, the issue I've got now though is that that doesn't go over like the barb fitting inside there. So I'm gonna have to get two more Jubilee clips. I'll replace these I think with Jubilee clips. But for now, that's pretty on there, I don't think that's coming out. This all seems to be nice and sealed. I might get a few more turns on that by hand. Then I'm going to put these pipes back on, clip them in, <sighs> lovely, right, I'm going to fill her up and see what happens. Oh, looks like I did need a funnel. Hold up, hey, let me stop you there, just while I'm editing this. Um, Basically, the next video is going to be another little coolant fix. Um, I've already filmed it, but this video is going to be like silly long otherwise. So, I'm going to stop it there. Um, and once I've done the other coolant fix in the next video, then we will do this part of the, uh, the job. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Love you. Bye, 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 bye.